Hi, I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I'm excited that you're here with me today to examine a great way to organize your home. It is called the Co Marie Method and it is phenomenal. I was just doing a video for you on how I lightened up my decor. I had very heavy old world decor. So I did a video for you on how I updated my old world decor. And in the course of that video, I kind of opened some drawers for you to show you how neat and tidy they were. And I offered you the opportunity to do an organization video for you. And you all kind of jumped at the chance and said you would like to see my Cone Marie organizing video. So I decided to make it for you. And if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll subscribe and click that little bell because although I don't do a lot of videos about home decor and organizing, I do have another organization video that I'll be showing after this. And if you're interested in this topic, clicking that little bell will just notify you of that future video. I wanted to use this organization method because as a child, I grew up in a very, very messy household and I was embarrassed by it. And it wasn't just messy on the inside. Everything was disorganized and there was a lot of clutter everywhere. It was disorganized looking on the outside. There were piles of magazines, piles of mail, all kinds of things, piles of dirty and clean clothes just kind of all around. And I grew up that way and I loved my parents and they just, you know, they had come from kind of messy homes and so our home was not very clean. And so I vowed when I was a child that someday I would have a beautiful organized home. So then I got married and it became important to me to have a home that looked good on the outside. And I really just 100% went into decor and organization on the outside. And on the outside, my house has always looked very neat and tidy. But quite honestly, I felt like a fraud because if you opened even my like glasses cabinet in the kitchen, I remember one time we had a guest over for dinner and he said, well, I need another glass. And so I rushed to the cabinet because I didn't want him to see inside my cabinets. He opened the cabinet door and oh, the glasses were helter skelter everywhere. They weren't even organized by size. And I was embarrassed by that. And that's the way all of my house looked on the inside. On the outside, it looked absolutely perfect, just absolutely beautiful like I would want it to look. But if you opened a drawer, you know, watch out, things were gonna pop out at you. I mean, not quite that bad, but it was pretty bad. And quite honestly, it made me feel like a fraud. And so all through the years, I bought all these organization tools and I'd use them for a little while and then everything would get crazy again. And so it just never worked for me. About two years ago, I heard about this book and it's called The Life-Changing Magic of Tidying Up the Japanese Art of Decluttering and Organizing. The written reviews on it were just fabulous. It talked about the fact that this book helps you get organized and stay organized. And to me, this just seemed like a wonderful thing. First, the book goes into the author's experience and her name is Marie Kondo, or Marie Kondo probably, and she is Japanese. And she talked about the fact that she grew up in a messy house and she was always trying to organize and tidy her house for the family, that she would get things organized and tidied, but that very soon they would fall apart again. And that sounded so much like me. And she, over time, developed this method of organizing and tidying that she felt was magical in terms of not only being able to declutter and organize your space, but also just giving you a feeling of peace and relaxation and harmony. And I really needed that. And so this book was very exciting to me. She says in this book that once you organize according to the Cone Marie method, you never go back to your same old sloppy habits before. And that was true with regard to my home. And I'll show you some pictures of the areas where it stayed true. Here you can see my kitchen drawers and they're very, very organized. And here's a look at my pantry, which is amazingly organized and it has stayed organized for two years. Believe me, it didn't look anything like this before. And that is true pretty much all over my house with the exception of two areas. And that is my master closet, which absolutely looks terrible. And then also in my master bathroom, the vanity in my bathroom is just really messy and I was not able to keep that organized. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be showing you the actual process of organizing my closet. And the important thing is you're going to get big trash bags and not necessarily throw the things away because you can definitely donate them. And you basically hold each item or try on each item and you say, does this bring me joy? And that's the question that you ask all through your house is, if I'm gonna keep this item or get rid of it, does this item bring me joy? And of course the utilitarian items, it can be a pair of scissors and it brings you joy because it allows you to cut. So that sort of thing can bring you joy too. But let me go ahead and we'll get to my closet and let's get started. This is a look at my kind of messy closet. I'll give you a little pan of the deal. And it's really more organized looking than it, than it would have been a year ago because I did the Cone Marie method a year ago. And so I developed like these little systems of keeping things where they belong, little boxes. That's like the medical area, eyes, ears, first aid, that kind of thing. Purses, lots of purses, all kinds of underwear and things like that. And then bras and socks, 
can see that there. Sorry it's kind of dark in here, but that just gives you an idea of the little system I have going there. And here's some more of the system. And that's all stayed pretty well. There's my costume jewelry. There is what is now a mess, which a year ago was all my pants. At the front of it, I've just kind of started putting things randomly in there. So it's not doing very well. These are blazers. And the odd thing is I'm hardly wearing blazers anymore. I don't know why. So I really do need to hone those down. This is kind of like over sweaters. It used to contain my turtlenecks too, but I have a ton of those, so I've put them down below. So I will be going through those. These are some shoe boxes, which I probably do need to hone those down because I'm not wearing some of those shoes, although I hate to get rid of them because look how beautiful they are. Everything is like photographed. And then this is an area with vests, which I love vests in the winter. Too many of those stuffed in there. And then I've got some shirts, and I have many that I'm not wearing. And then this is the shoe graveyard, which um, is terrible. And my husband said, clean up your closet, which I would have done, but I did want to show you how bad it really was. It's not usually quite this bad, but I kind of saved it because I do need to get rid of a lot of that. So the first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and go through all of these up here. And I'll show you the result in a minute, but I'm going to go through asking the question, does each item bring me joy? So I'll be trying it on, and if it doesn't bring me joy, it goes. The next item I'm going to be going through is this shelf right here. I'll be looking at the vest to see which ones bring me joy and getting rid of the ones that don't. I'll be looking at all the long sleeve shirts to tell me the same thing. Now in this area is my blazer area, and I'm going to be going through that and getting rid of the ones that don't bring me joy and really the ones that I don't wear, which is the vast majority of them. And in this area, I'll be cleaning out the clothes that don't belong here, which is all of these shirts. Hopefully I'll have enough room over there in the shirt area to put the shirts when I get those cleaned out. And then I'll do the same with the pants. And I'll be asking the main question, does each item bring me joy? Okay, here's my closet. I'll just show you a once over. Summer clothes up there. Sweaters there. A few shoes there. These are just like blouses and vests, which I wear a ton of vests, as you can tell. And then I have the shoes along the bottom, the boots here, the high boots, and then the more business-like boots here. They go all the way along there. And then my little casual boots down there. And this is my summer clothes, which I didn't do anything with, and then some storage. And then here are the winter clothes. I moved the turtlenecks here because I did have space. I am doing three turtlenecks on a hanger, which really saved space. Got a few jackets here. That's divided off, and then the turtlenecks, and then I've got a few business jackets here, and some scarves and belts back there. And then this is just a, an area of storage with the first aid kit stuff on top, and then just various things, purses, underwear, nail polish, which I don't even wear nail polish. I should probably get rid of those. Um, I wear shellac that I go to the salon for, and then bras and socks, and then just more shoes down there. And then this is my pants area. And these are all my black pants, which I have a ton of black pants. And then it's divided off. Leggings are in the middle here. And then I have uh, casual jeans and jeans. And then I have a few uh, jackets that have fur collars on them. And then I have my workout stuff back here. And so that is basically a look at my closet. And I feel much, much better. I use the Cone Marie method. She says just put everything in a big pile and touch it, and uh, if, if it brings you joy, save it. I have to try it on, because the question is, does it make me look good? If it doesn't, it does not bring me joy. If it gives me fat hips, fat tummy, too short, it's gotta go. So that is basically a look at my Cone Marie closet. And I just feel so much better to start the new year in an organized way. And I will really try to keep it corralled in 2018. And the way to do that is to only buy things that bring me joy and to put things away when I bring them in from the laundry room to go ahead and put them in the right space. Now this is the damage that I did out here. This is all the stuff that I got rid of, which doesn't look like a lot, but it really, really is. These are boots and shoes that are going to have a friend at work, Angie, who's a size 10, so she can wear my boots and shoes. Unfortunately, you may recognize the leopard boots as I bought them at ThreadUp, and I thought, oh, these are such a great buy. Well, they're just not me. So they are definitely Angie. I've got a couple purses there that have just been kind of taking up space in the closet that have seen better days. Now these clothes here, I have a girlfriend at work who has a daughter who is around 18 and she's a small size like me and she's disabled and so those clothes, hopefully some of those will fit her. 
These are some cabbie clothes. Cabbie is a designer line of clothes and I really like them. I'm going to be selling those on eBay because I think I can make something on there. I'll put the link below if any of you are interested in my cabbie clothes. And then there's just a couple of jackets over there that uh, I bought at a thrift store. And that should teach me to be more careful buying at thrift stores. They were kind of worn, I realized, when I got them home. That purse is an absolutely beautiful new purse that I got at Christmas this year, but I think it's too large, and I can't believe that because I love large purses, but I may be taking it back to Dulles. Let's look at my tidying process, and ladies, I'm so happy that you did that with me because knowing I was going to do this video gave me the motivation to clean out that horrible closet, and I'm so glad I did. And I will tell you that in the description box below the video, you can see a list of Cone Marie tips in order to tidy, if that's what you would like to do with your space. But I will go ahead and mention them to you now. The first is that you tidy up all at once. Don't allow the tidying process to go on for years or say, I'm just gonna tidy as I get the idea. You just go ahead and make this one big project and get started. Your tidying project can be broken down into little pieces and it can take several months, but you do tackle your tidying all at once. The second is that you visualize your destination. You kind of imagine what you want each area to look at and why you want it to be that way. And when you're thinking about items that you want to keep or get rid of, the question is, does this spark joy? Does this shirt make me feel joy? If it doesn't make you feel joy, you get rid of it. And then you tidy by category, not location. The first item class that she recommends that you tidy is clothing. So you get all of the clothing from all the closets and all the drawers and whatever all over your house and you bring it in and you tidy all of the clothes to begin with. You don't just tidy the front closet, tidy the laundry room, you tidy the various classes of things in your home. And the things she recommends that you tidy are in the following order. The first is clothing. The second is books, the third is papers, and then miscellaneous. And in her book, she goes through great detail on how to tidy each of those things. And before you start putting the items back, once you've gotten them out in a big pile and you've sorted them all into the things that bring you joy and the things that don't, before you start putting back the things that brought you joy, you have to discard those items because otherwise you're tempted to keep them or throw them in the garage and that just adds to clutter there. And you can discard items by throwing them away, but really she recommends giving them away or sending them to a thrift store or giving them to a friend, something like that. Well, that's my look at the Cone Marie method. And again, thank you so much ladies for helping me get my closet organized. Thank you again for working with me as I got my closet more organized. I'm just so happy about that. Now, if you're not a subscriber, I hope you'll click that little bell and subscribe. I will have more organization and decor videos, but mostly I do makeup and skincare videos for 50 plus women, which I am one. Now, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And I've been using this card deck, Life Loves You Cards. Life loves you. I absolutely love that because it is wonderful when we realize that life does love us and that God does love us. Let's see what they have to say. This is so weird because I just did a video yesterday and I got, I am willing to love myself. I am willing to love myself. And, and I'm going through this little course that I'm doing kind of on my own that I want to do a video about. And ladies, this is obviously very important that I do this course for you. This is also a Louise Hay book called Mirror Work. And it goes along with this theme of I'm willing to love myself. And this book really helps us to learn to love ourselves. But anyway, that's a different video. So let me choose another card. We won't have a duplicate. Oh my, that was weird. Okay, Lord, what do we need to think of today? Oh, I love this. I welcome miracles into my life. I welcome miracles into my life. Be open to miracles today. You will experience a miracle each time you decide to let life love you a little bit more than before. To let life love you a little bit more than before. Ladies, that is a miracle. In the first half of my life, I think I resisted the idea that life was going to love me. I thought I had to be perfect before life would love me. So let's just realize that God loves us for just who we are in all of our imperfections. God loves us just like a child. We are children unto him. It's like he's holding us in the palm of his hand and that he wants to give us all good things. And that is a miracle to let life and to let God love us. I don't care if you believe in God or Buddha or no God. In fact, my parents were agnostic and that's probably why I grew up accepting people of all different faiths. These, no matter what our faith and mine happens to be Christian for sure. When we let God and life love us, when we really experience that love, we have so much love to give others and that makes us have a glorious love filled second half. Take care. See you next time.